There's another wet spot there. Hey guys, we're fixing a roof today. We've got leaks on this roof and we're trying to figure that out and see how we can fix it. We think the ridge cap here is the reason why it's leaking. Some of it's up, uh, it's not tied down correctly. Uh, it's just old, you know, it's just weathered. And I have my father-in-law helping today. Just getting some more batteries. Everything on this barn is nailed, there's no screws. We're using some of this butyl tape. This is a ceiling tape, it's kind of sticky. I used to put this on school buses on the on the roof uh, when we would put events up on school buses. So I used to use this, and we're going to do kind of do the same for that ridge cap up there. This stuff really sticks. But that's down. That's down. That's down. All these all these are coming up here ridge cap see the nails are coming out I'm trying to utilize what's already here there's our hole right there I've been looking at this thing from underneath big old gash we cleaned off all this side brushed off all the debris that was on this because we had tall trees hanging over that we took down and we just cleaned up the side here that all them reeks the wood this is where the puddles would come in right here, right in the center right here. But I'm seeing some of them screws are grabbing on the wood. <laughs> We're thinking that some of the leaks are, or most of the leaks probably is coming from these seams. And it's probably every like six or eight feet or so, a seam. Because if this doesn't work, then might have to just get a new ridge cap here. Maybe a wider one, because we think that this is kind of a short too. See that did. <laughs> that did. We think that a lot of a lot of these nails here are not even in going into wood. It's just going right into the metal. So I think we need to, that, needs, that ridge cap needs to be fatter or maybe get metal to metal screws. Yeah. It'll hold it. Have you ever done roofing before, Randy? Never. Never thought I'd do roofing either. No, no. <laughs> How about you? No, never. <laughs> There's a lot of first here. Right? <laughs> I've experienced more with you than I have in my entire life. <laughs> We try to pick a day where it's not that hot, which actually is kind of nice today. It's, it's a little warm still, but there's a cool breeze. It's a little overcast. One more seam over there. Might not work. I mean, but we're not gonna really know until it starts raining pretty good, and we're not gonna get enough rain here probably in the next couple weeks. All right, that's it. What do you think, Randy, is gonna hold? Well, it seems to hold, that's for sure. Yeah. I think uh, replacing the nails better screws would work better but it should hold yeah there's some holes random holes that we see up here we might have to replace some of this metal roofing at some point but for now this is the first step on hopefully making this leak proof my father and I had to leave but he's, he's a ton of help let me tell you like I don't know a lot of things that I could do here and he's a great help the scatter guys it needs to go. At this point, it's it's an aquaponics farm. I have trees growing in it. The 
this gutter has better soil than we do on our property. It's all bent up also. There's trees leaning up against it. I mean, I might have to replace it. I'm gonna try to reuse it as best I can, but I think I just need to take it down and then clean it and then put it back up at some point. Groundhogs, these are groundhog holes that go underneath and they will destroy the foundation on this thing. I've been trying to catch them. I've seen them. There's like a whole family of them that live down there. There is no screws on this bar, not even the gutters. The gutters are also all nailed in. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I'm thinking I'm just gonna end up just cutting it because it's all bent up anyways. And the nails that it has, just giant thick nails and just taking them off and then I'm bending it even more. So I, I just think this thing is beyond keeping. So maybe I just take a saws out to it. Yeah, when all else fails, use the sawzall. Usually does the trick, with the metal blade on it. All the gutters are down. I mean, yeah, they were pretty bad shape and they're all, they're all bent up. I mean, you know, I want it to look nice. <laughs> you know, like, there were some heavy duty nails. That sawzall, I just cut the nails off and then slowly it all just kind of came down there. I need some roof repairing that I need to do up here on this end. That's why I needed to take it down because there's some major leaks you can kind of tell here maybe see this like wet spot that's leaking right there inside the earth was gonna take over this barn let me tell you all these trees that are right here they were just slowly just growing all up on it i mean we had trees growing in this gutter here um but man i'm, I'm glad i got a lot done today all this black soil that's some good compost right there. I'm picturing maybe some kind of lumber storage. It's definitely some rain barrels having coming off this, this roof here, but for sure it needs a gutter. Maybe grade this uh, to make it fairly level that goes grades down. Maybe I could build another overhang off of this and then, you know, store some stuff right here. We got vintage flooring. I'm kind of loving it. We're loving it. No? No. We roasted some pork. Those are from our pigs that we raised last year. That's the copa. The copa is a shoulder of the pig, so that's what we're eating today. Supposedly, it's supposed to be like the best, one of the best parts of, of pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, copa. fixing and renovating and things. I mean, you know, we still have animals here. We're still growing food. And Shirley, what are you doing up? What are you doing? And Shirley, she always has a mind of her own. She just does her own thing. All right, let's check on these cows. I need to run a line. 
another line we have some apple trees that we need to try to avoid I need more reels this is gonna have to do for now until I get some more reels because the reels is the way to go man I, I'm hooked on those reels it's a beautiful day today it's it's a little bit cooler today which is very nice plus a plus a breeze makes it even nicer we got an apple tree here and then another apple tree there we might have been premature of planting an orchard here in the middle of the pasture area another apple tree there and then another one over there we might end up moving them to another location because I'm just you know trying to avoid this area so I have I have a stake here so I'm just kind of going around it otherwise I would just put one line this way and then this is the next paddock but now I have to put an extra line and try to avoid this area this is the corner post came from that way I'm going this way And then now I got the other reel. I'm gonna go on this other side and that should close up the paddock that I want them to go into. One hand, one hand. I came in here yesterday and mowed some of these brambles down because I knew I was gonna move them in this area. Holding the camera with one hand, reeling out the wire with the other. I still don't know what size of paddock I'm actually doing, I'm just kind of picking out a spot you know something with shade also with some trees so that way they do have some shade because the next paddock will probably be right here and there are some trees here for shade all right all right we're coming you unhook this and then this is gonna give them access to this new paddock come on Come on, little brother. Come on. This is where they came in, and we're going to block this off here so that way they won't have access to that area that they just were in. And then we'll move the meat chickens over there. We still have their water here so they have access to it, and I don't have to move the water. That's the wagon wheel system that I'm trying out. I'm trying out. After looking online to see what exactly that was, okay, I think I get it. Let's try it out. And so that's what I've been doing. This is the second time. First move there, second move, and we'll keep on going like in a circle. There he is. There he is. Little brother's getting it. Big brother over there. He's got it. We're farming. <laughs> We're farming. We're farming. We're getting it. We're getting it. 